This is Marco Wu from eProgramma.com. I'm going to talk about how can we draw a pyramid, a semi-pyramid. Pyramid is just a triangle. However, it is a 3D triangle, and there are different things at different angles. So mainly, we'll demonstrate how can we use a function called datum ping. First of all, we are going to draw a semi-pyramid, just a 2D version. All right. Now we create our first datum pane. Make sure we select offset, and then we create the second datum pane. We are going to draw a line on the first datum pane. We are going to use the function, use function. We pick the upper line from the front paint and use it in the first datum paint. We pick the bottom line from the front paint and use it in the second datum paint. So there are two lines on two datum paints. Now, we create our third datum pane. Make sure this time we select full. We pass the control key to select those two lines from two different datum pane, and then a new datum pane will be created. This datum pane will have an angle. And we use the extrude function to create the volume. Now, we are going to draw a rectangle on the angle that datum pane. The reason for drawing this rectangle is to remove the material that we, w we don't want. That is what we want for the final product. But right now we want to make it to be a hollow. So we select the cell function and then we will remove some of the material from the top pane.
Now we are going to use the extrude function to remove some of the material. Since we have already used the cell function to remove the inner material of this, so you will see a hollow um, semi pyramid. And we are going to cut a hole. And this is the final product. 